Do you, no, no, no. Hi. Oh. He's going to just pull tissues out of... No. He loves ripping tissues out of the tissue box. Are you live? Yep. Hello. We are live. Theo is running around without pants on. I'm trying to find... Okay, there's the chat. Julius, come. Where's the screen that I hit, like, share computer and share that? that. Okay, cool. It's just the top two. Yeah. Julie, come. Hello. Good evening. Sure. Good afternoon. I've been enjoying these videos on Sunday nights with Mega. Someone said, oh, there's, there, there's Theo. Say bye, Theo. Blow a kiss to everyone. Blow a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. Well, thank you for saying you've been enjoying them. I have also been enjoying them. We just had dinner. We did rotisserie chicken. I picked one up um, before I went out this afternoon. And we started the 11th season of 90 Day Fiance yesterday. We bought it on Amazon Prime. And I just love 90 Day Fiance. And Matt, like, comes in and out. And I just keep him updated on the couples. And then I'm drinking some tea here in my mug it's all three of us my friend got it for me and the tea paper i hate these quotes because i just feel like they're so cliche and annoying but it's there is pleasure in the pathless woods i feel like matt would just love that um hello these help so much well cool guys because i came unprepared i thought usually i come with what i you know like three four meals of what i want for the upcoming week in mind that makes it a lot easier but i don't know what i want this week and i didn't really chat with matt so you can help me and we can just figure it out together Jeremy said day 14. Yes, it is. How exciting. How is everyone doing? I actually, uh, if you saw on Instagram, I went out and I got ramen with two of my mom friends. We had no kids for the first time. We always have the kids. So it was very, very refreshing. It was just the three of us. And uh, in my ramen, I got a chicken broth with chicken ramen or chicken meat in the ramen broth with no noodles so like none of the ramen just the broth the chicken and then i got a side of bok choy and i got an extra egg in it and it was just phenomenal and then i got some green tea which i found having tea after dinner green tea in particular my mom friend my mom friend told me it like helps with digestion and yesterday we went to our friend's house we did a game night and we tried Ethiopian food for the first time. Super good. It's very much like Indian. I highly recommend it if you have the opportunity to get it. And we were just so stuffed. And we all had green tea afterwards. And it just settled our stomachs so well. Um, on day six of starting keto again. After having fallen off the wagon a year ago. And not being able to start again since. That's okay, babe. You're on day six. That is six days ahead of... You know where you were six days ago so i mean you're i'm, I'm assuming you're feel, starting to feel good um you're getting into the swing of things and if not trust me that'll come i wanted to ask if your snacking is still berries it sure is um like my post-dinner snack lately i've been doing um if i don't do berries so nut butter is like my one thing that it's not like a weakness even anymore, but it's something that I really look forward to and I enjoy, especially when like we're doing a challenge like this. So I'll have like a nut butter pouch or packet and we've been, we have like the RX one. So it's like almond butter with coconut in it. Super tasty. So I do nut butter or some berries and a little bit of almond butter. So tempted to weigh myself, but feeling more motivated to focus on health without the scale. Sheila, that is so nice to hear and also refreshing because I'm sure a lot of people are in the same boat. I know I feel the same way as well, um, or I used to feel that way. And then once you stop weighing yourself, you realize there's so much more to life, to getting up, to being excited in the morning than just stepping on the scale. For me, that was a really big dictator of how I was going to feel that rest of the day. But um, now it's really whether or not Theo lets me sleep a lot at night. Like last night, I don't know what happened. He slept. I mean, the nanny put him to bed. Maybe that's what happened. But he slept from 7.30 to 6 in the morning. He has not been doing that for, I feel like, a couple months. 
He's been waking up like two to three times a night and it's just been a lot. Um, so shout out to all the moms out there because I know, you know, as much as the dads do and as fun as they are, it's the moms that put in the real grind of motherhood. There's really a good ramen place in Marietta called Hikaru, Hikaru Ramen. My friend who lived in Japan for several years said it was the best ramen. Hey, Team Louie. Hey, Sarah. Tell her I said hi. Um, it was the best ramen he's had since he left. Okay, well, I've got to go there. Thank you for that. I love ramen. I'm making nachos, taco salad, tuna sashimi, and instant pot chicken with cauliflower mac and cheese for this week. That sounds phenomenal, especially that last part because instant pot, it's just such a lifesaver, you know. Um, you just press it. You forget it. You have delicious food. Okay, so I'm going to pull up my to do list as I do. I'll share my desktop. There it is. So what is the week ahead? It is going to be the 18th, 01, 18, 21, guys. We're in 2021. Okay. So, oh, so an update on the Hooter smoked wings. We definitely did those last week. They were not that good. We were so disappointed. And so we've been having a lot of misses with wings lately. We did not do Instant Pot short ribs. But those are so good for you and so tasty. So we're definitely going to do those this week. We always have our taco night. You guys know that. But maybe I'll leave that off because you know we usually do that. And then we can fill it in with something else potentially. Um, Sheila said my ketones are up to 2.1 and my sugars have dropped from 115 to 87. Yay. That is that that's really, really nice to hear. And I must feel so good. I, I know the feeling. Butter chicken here tonight. Yes. Ooh. We definitely, I'm, you know, I've been feeling the curry lately. We did ramen today. We did Ethiopian last night. So I want to do definitely some Asian stuff today. So I think um, Matt actually suggested this. He wants to do egg roll in a bowl. So we are going to do egg roll in a bowl this week for sure. Let's add that to the list. And we always do ground beef, but you can do ground chicken. You can do ground turkey. You can do ground pork. We've done ground pork and it's like fattier than any of the other meats. So it's a lot more just tastier and delicious. It really comes down to the seasonings, which we give you the perfect recipe. And it's super simple. Um, there's like a step by step. So you can see not a lot of ingredients there. Scroll all the way down and there it is. Everyone has broth, garlic, ginger, sriracha. And if you don't have sriracha, you might have like a, a chili garlic sauce, which you can also get in stores in the Asian aisle. That's a really good substitution or something to have on hand. Sesame oil. It's not a mandatory thing. We usually like to drizzle on the sesame oil at the end. We don't like to cook with it. It's not an oil we like to heat through. Um, so we don't always use it. And then green onions, sesame seeds, also an optional thing. But the liquid aminos, definitely a must. Yeah, very simple recipe, very tasty. So we're going to definitely stick with that. And then something new, guys, I don't know if you know. Um, we are, oh, and Matt's sharing. Tell them about the meal plan. I was getting to that. Matt is, no, not Matt. Um, we started adding meal plans to the site. So we have our first seven day keto meal plans we used to do like a lot of meal plans when we first started up with videos and stuff um, and you guys loved that so this is these are completely free and you can sign up so this is our seven day keto meal plan um and we give you macros we give you the recipes we give you everything you need to know so you can um right here just free download so click that button and you'll get the meal plan right to your inbox, which is very nice. And you don't even have to use all of it. Like right now, I'm planning on browsing it with you guys. And then we can pick something from it to add to our meal plan for this week. So it'll give you all days of the week. So Monday, breakfast, bulletproof coffee. I think that's standard for everyone. Um, lunch is chili with bacon. This is one of our first recipes. So good. So simple. You set it on the stovetop, you forget it. Dinner, steak, and broccoli. That's like cheesy broccoli. That's something we've been doing a lot. 
And then we also added the after dinner snack because that's something we like to incorporate. And I know a lot of people do, but you can totally just not do the snack and add those macros to your dinner, to your lunch. Maybe you like to do um, like a yogurt or something or a muffin with your breakfast, a high fiber muffin. We have that recipe on our site. Then you can just add those after dinner snacks to your breakfast. So you can definitely play around and we show you exactly in chronometer what all of the macros look like and then here's the complete breakdown so you'll see a lot of meal plans online and the macros are just insanely low like 1200 calories 1300 calories 1400 calories some even like 900 calories and that just like the weight watcher ones in particular or like higher carb ones it just it doesn't make sense like why you would ever eat that little um so we have some realistic macros and then of course, you can just alter them. You can take a serving away or you can do less butter in your coffee or have no snack. So Tuesday is keto with bacon. So you'll have leftovers. So we love to use leftovers. Or I do. So you will too. Um, the creamy shrimp scampi. That one's so good. I always forget about that one. So if I was going to make the cre creamy shrimp scampi, my favorite noodle substitute is the palmini pasta. It's way better than Miracle Noodles. It's heartier. It's uh, made of hearts of palm. It's super tasty. So I would go with that if you want like a, a noodle with your shrimp scampi. And then um, two peanut butter cups. So those are fat bombs you can make and you store in the freezer. Wednesday, leftover scampi, pesto chicken. Hmm. Um... Or like, so you see the chicken, the dinner is chicken thighs right here with pesto sauce and cheesy cauliflower. You can just do the chicken thighs and then just do like cauliflower rice. So you can like alter this how you want and that'll bring down the macros and then maybe you can use those macros in your breakfast or for a snack. That's what I would like. That's what I would probably do. Thursday, this has my heart right here. Berries and cream. One of my favorite, favorite snacks, meals, breakfasts. And then for every uh, breakfast, we did a Bulletproof coffee, but you just, you can use those macros in however way you want. If you don't drink coffee or you can do Bulletproof tea, you can do Bulletproof bone broth. It is still cold out. So something warm and salty would be good. Apple pork chop. Oh my God. I forgot about this recipe. I'm going to pull that one up. That one's so good. Maybe we'll do pork chops. We haven't done pork chops in so long. Yeah, this one's super good. Mm, okay. Let's see, guys. And then Saturday. So we have two more days, and I'm still deciding what we want. If you guys know what what I should pick, let me know. No one should be eating 900 calories. Agreed. But I feel like a lot of people are still in that mindset. Like, I got to just keep dropping my calories if I'm not losing weight. I got to eat as little as possible. I want to be as skinny as possible. Um, there's definitely... Um, a lot better ways to do it and a lot more to life than just being the lowest weight possible. You want sustainability. You want um, to you want to enjoy your life, right? You have a long life to live. The scale should not dictate how you live your life. So, ooh, breakfast here. We got some blueberry muffins. That's my kind of breakfast. And then you have leftovers, so you can do that for dessert. You can pack it in your kid's lunchbox. Dinner is a chicken stir fry. So that's kind of like what we're going to be do. Oh, this is um, a cheesy one. Let me look at that one. Oh, or you could. Okay, so this is an Asian one. So we're doing egg roll in a bowl already. And then Sunday is the leftovers and then steak and uh, steak. Ooh, ribeye steak with goat cheese and butter broccoli. Classic. Okay. So what should we do? Maybe we'll do a chili. I love chili. I'm not sure if Matt will want. I, last time I made chili, it was like too thick for Matt and he didn't eat it. And it made me feel really bad. What is the website? Our website is ketoconnect.net. And if you just type in Keto Connect meal plan. It's right here. should come up. First link, seven-day keto meal plan. There it is. And then you can download it right here. 
Okay, so let's get back to planning, but let me get some of these questions in, actually. I wish I brought my water down. I'm pretty parched, and tea doesn't really do that trick. Mm. Hi, Mega. I love your channel. Theo's so adorable. Thanks for helping me help be healthier. Thanks for being here with us, and thank you. Theo is definitely getting cuter. We look back on his pictures, and we're like, did we really think he was cute? <laughs> um... Is it strange having a blonde son? That's a good question, Travis. We were actually just talking about that today. When Matt was like, I can't believe that's my son. And I was like, at least he look, at least he's white. Like, he looks like you. Like, I can't believe he's my son, especially even when I'm, like, holding him and looking in the mirror because we just look like the opposite. The blueberry muffins are the best. Thank you, Julia. They are super good. And if you don't like blueberries, you can sub in any other berry. You can do chocolate chips. You can do a cinnamon. You can do pecans. Definitely going to check it out. Yeah, definitely check out the meal plan. And we're going to be doing them regularly, so weekly. So definitely stay tuned. If you didn't like the meal plan for this week, you have next week. Oh, never mind. Matt said it'll be every other week, depending on how much people like or use them. So every other week. So if you like them, let us know. Download them. Comment on the post. And then we can keep making them regularly. Um... How can you do meal plans? Everyone has different macros. Yeah, that is very, very true um, and a good question. But that's why in the meal plan itself, we give you such a high calorie range or like a high macro, high macros right here because then that gives you room to either add things in or subtract and still be at a reasonable caloric intake. So like if we start you at 900 calories and you actually eat like 2000 calories, that's 11 you're making an additional meal plan on top of that. So that's why at 17 like 1800 calories I wouldn't go lower than like 1500 calories personally ever. So, you know, I can easily pull out a snack or, you know, some butter or cream or something for my coffee and remove the 300 calories. Or I can add 200 calories with a snack or with some more in my coffee. So it's very easy to adjust up and down. And we show you exactly in chronometer what the macros are. So maybe you're like, hey, that's too much fat for me. Or that's not enough protein. Then you can easily just add. Um, and then also the, the meals, they have extra, they have leftovers. So you can eat two servings you can eat half a serving and you can easily adjust so that's the thing with meal plans no one's going to be exactly 1788 it's very rare but that is a good range to start with and then you can adjust from there uh, love these chill lives thank you for being here Egg roll in a bowl leftovers are fantastic. Mixed into bone broth. Tracy, that sounds phenomenal. I'm going to do that. Ooh, like a bone broth soup bowl. I love soup, especially with like cabbage. Mm, okay, that's a definitely doing that. I'm going to make like double egg roll in a bowl and have leftovers. So we only have two meals so far. We have our short ribs, which we're definitely going to do, and then our egg roll in a bowl. I'm thinking maybe we, we didn't do um, like an Instant Pot chicken curry last week and we usually do that. That's like one of Matt's faves. Matt doesn't eat leftovers. This is true. This is not a membership. Matt saying it's just free on our site. Yeah, the meal plan is not a membership. It's free. You just you can download it and it's yours and you can get it bi weekly. OK, so I'm going to add to the meal plan. Instant Pot. I'm already using the Instant Pot twice this week. Love that. Instant Pot Chicken Curry. And then usually in that, I like to do red bell pepper. And it really depends. I'm going to do broccoli this week. We've been doing a lot of broccoli and I love it. I'm not a big broccoli person, but for some reason, Matt got me back on the broccoli train. What do you guys, do you guys like cauliflower or broccoli better? I just, I cannot do cauliflower. You guys taught me to eat whole foods and enjoy the process. Thank you, Mega. Thank you for saying that. And also, it's all you. Like, it's not an easy thing to switch over to from standard American diet or even from like, you know, a lazy keto approach where 
lots of fast food and snacks like bars and stuff are incorporated which is totally a fine way to do it but I feel like from my experience that when I'm doing majority whole foods not 100% but the majority I find that it's easier to regulate my hunger and it can be more of an intuitive style as opposed to like you know, having to track or weigh or feeling like I overdid it or feeling excessively full because, you know, I overate, essentially. Um, I prefer broccoli, but cauliflower for mash. Yeah, I, I would never eat broccoli mash. I guess I've never tried it, but um, fry a mix of both in the air fryer with your favorite seasoning. Yeah, I guess we never do uh, broccoli or cauliflower in the air fryer. That's a good idea. Ooh, I want to do chicken crust pizza. Someone just, what did, what reminded me of that? Save the cauliflower for pizza crust or rice substitute. Nah, girl or boy, I love chicken crust pizza. I've been craving it. Chicken crust pizza. And, and this is very selfish sounding. Um, I'm sure you guys will agree or you understand if you're parents. Like when you feed your child something and they love it, they enjoy it, like, you know, anything sweet or anything they really like, like snack wise, it makes you feel good, right? It's like a selfish pleasure. So if I get to feed Theo like a dessert I know he loves, I'm excited to feed him, you know? Um, so I feel like it's so cute when I get to feed him like a little, you know, low carb pizza or something. We've done like cauliflower foods pizza. Um, but it's so cute because he, when he eats pizza, I'm like, this is like, he's a real little boy. He's eating pizza. And we can do pizza night. So we're definitely going to do chicken crust pizza. And my favorite pizza topping is, you guys guessed it, pepperoni. Pepperoni and onion. But Matt doesn't like onion. So we'll just do pepperoni. What's your favorite? What's your guys' favorite pizza topping? And are you guys thin crust or thick crust? I think <clears throat> hands down thin crust is obviously the best. Matt's from Detroit. So he might be a thick cruster. I have no idea though. Whenever we ate pizza together, it was when we were really drunk. So after, at the end of the night, of course, everyone did that. And it was always thin crust because in San Francisco, they didn't have thick crust. Someone's making low-carb pizza tonight. Nice. I need how to learn how to make chicken crust pizza. It's really easy. We have a... Just type in chicken. I wonder if we come up when you type in chicken crust pizza first. There it is. We're second. Okay. So there it is. Yeah. That's our pizza. That looks bomb. I'm so excited. Yeah. And this, this tells you exactly how to make it. It's super easy. And it's you use canned chicken, which I think is going to be the best. It's going to be like the crispiest but you can use ground chicken. You can use chicken breast that you like process. So it's like pulsed, almost like ground chicken. Got a couple ways you can do it there. Okay, let's see. Do you, feel, do you still feed Theo those homemade muffins? Um, no, I haven't been doing like a lot of, like I did a lot more meal prep homemade meal prep when he was younger when he wasn't like eating basically only food when he was majority nursing because it was easier to like feed him then and he was way less picky but now he's eating like nonstop. so um I just cook his meal every single meal is fresh as opposed to like a meal prep meal thin crust with pepperoni Lori and that's where it's at Um, I might have canned chicken. Perfect. You can make it. Uh, all right. Let's see. Okay. So we got four things. Now, what else? I wish I knew what Matt wanted. I guess he just goes with the roll usually. You guys going out to eat this week? So we did wings last week and... So we only ate out once last week. Yeah, we usually eat out once a week. But I don't know. I guess our, the only real options as far as eating out usually for us is Chipotle these days. Because that's the only thing we really like. So I can put like, 
If we were going to eat out, it would be Chipotle. Do I say that right? Chipotle, Chipotle. And we just tried the cauliflower rice for the Chipotle bowls. And we'll have a video coming soon. But spoiler alert, I'm not a huge fan. I would just go classic salad bowl if I was going to get it. Beef stroganoff over palmini noodles. That sounds so up my alley. But Matt does not like stroganoff. I think it's like sour cream in it. It's like a creamy sauce. He hates things that are creamy, unfortunately. Um, let's see. What else? Okay, let's jump on Pinterest. Here we are, guys. Where do I... Pinterest has changed. I don't even know, like, how do I search? How do I search, guys? Oh, there is the search bar. Um, okay, keto. So we have chicken crust pizza. We have ribs. So I like to, like I said last week, I like to look at what kind of meats I've already used. So we have ribs, beef, chicken, chicken. And then if we did chipotle, that would also be chicken. So I guess, I guess like just classic steak and broccoli would be nice or like steak and asparagus, but let's go just keto, um, keto dinners. Let's look at everything. Matt said we should grill something, something fancy. You know what I love that are really underrated and maybe they're just bad to most people? Cornish hens. I don't know. There's something about having my own little chicken on my plate that I'm just obsessed with. Beef stew, Boston butt. Oh, Matt said grill, though. I feel like a Boston butt you would smoke or doing the Instant Pot and shred it. That'd be good. Where do you get the palmini noodles? I'm, you've, I've seen them in stores, definitely at Whole Foods, maybe at like Publix and Kroger, but I usually get them on Amazon. I just bought lamb chops. Oh, my God, lamb chops. That's what I wanted to do last week. I, we always get the rack of lambs at Whole Foods. So good. I don't know. Can you grill lamb chops, Matt? Oh, and we have a lot of salmon. Okay, I'm going to put lamb chops slash salmon. And then we'll see. Me and Matt will duke it out. We'll do, like, rock, paper, scissors. So we have our meal plan for the week. That is great. Um, but let's look here. Like, let's just browse a little and see what looks good. Uh, so I've been craving, and I made this for lunch for Theo a couple days ago, chia pudding, not chia pudding, chia, like, oh, like oatmeal. So oatmeal made with chia seeds, hemp hearts, um, collagen powder, super good. And I sh split it with him because he didn't eat the entire bowl and I wanted some. But I've been like craving it. So I think I'm going to prep some tonight, like overnight style, and pop it in the fridge and then have it tomorrow for breakfast. I'm really excited. Um, love my own chicken. Yay. Yeah. My mom loves Cornish hens and will make them sometimes. Yeah. I feel like my mom used to make a lot of Cornish hens whenever she cooked. She wasn't really a big cook. They have palmini type noodles at Trader Joe's now, Sheila said. Yeah, Trader Joe's has a lot of noodle options and like low carb options, especially like they have great jicama wraps. They have cauliflower thins, like sandwich sized ones. They have, yeah, all the zoodle spiral ones. I'll have to look for the palmini type noodles they have. Um, I do corned beef and cabbage once in a while. I don't think I like corned beef. I, maybe I've never had it. I know a lot of people do like corned beef sandwiches. Those are really popular in like Philly or like Northeast area. Um, didn't you have these omelets yesterday? What omelets? Yeah, we. I mean, we went to brunch and we had omelets. We went to um, a cute little place in our downtown area and Theo had some fruit and some eggs. Okay, I am looking for something tasty. I'm all about the pictures, guys. And even if mine doesn't turn out like the pictures, if I know I'm making whatever it is, I get excited. I love like taco salad bowls like this. 
Like that just looks so good to me. Oh, we're not, I didn't put our tacos on the list. I wonder how Matt feels about that. But we can do like taco bowls. That could be good. Maybe I'll save this to my board. Okay. I wish my girls ate, period. They'll be 10 years old next month, and I swear they can go up an entire day without eating if I wasn't on top of them. Yeah, I feel like when you're that, that age, it's like really up in the, like, you know, either you eat a lot or you don't eat enough. I'm sure, like, Matt didn't eat a lot at all. Or, like, he just ate, you know, like, snacks unless his mom made him eat real meals. And then I just ate so much. At 10, I was definitely, like, overweight and just eating a lot. I was a big snacker. Um, do you guys still eat Buffalo Wild Wings? So Robbie, the Buffalo Wild Wings near us is just garbage. We always say extra seasoning. They give you zero seasoning. So we've just been disappointed so many times. We don't even bother anymore, unfortunately. But if we were traveling, Buffalo Wild Wings is always our go-to. Road tripping. We're, you know, at a conference, which we haven't done in a while. But like if we were traveling... We always do B-dubs. Actually, cute story. I don't know if it's cute, but like fun story. The night we got engaged in Hawaii, when Matt, after Matt proposed to me, our meal post-engagement on that day was Buffalo Wild Wings in Hawaii. Like we could have gotten delicious poke or gone to a nice dinner, but we got B-dubs and had some whiskey and we ate in our hotel room. It was so nice. Click on the keto to keto looks good. Where is that? Let me click on it. I don't see it. I could be blind. Hmm. Okay. I don't see it. I'm sorry. But this looks good to me. Cauliflower rice. Yum. I'm just in like a hardcore Asian mood lately. I don't know why. So I'm going to add that to my board. And so like, you know, if Matt and I decide we don't want what I have planned for the night, I can hop to my board and see what else we have. And then, um, yeah, just go from there. Oh, there's keto buffalo chick chicken taquitos. I bet the wrap is just cheese. Yeah, it looks like it is. Slices of mozzarella. See, I'm not a fan of that. That's just like just only cheese. It's. Yeah, it's a lot of cheese, and I would just like rather eat a dip with some celery or like you know top it on top of something. But it, it gets too greasy, you know what I mean? Um, I was a child who didn't like to eat very much. Yeah, that's that's interesting. I I don't think Theo's gonna be like that. Um, random, but are you gonna bring back Murder She Ate? You know, that's a tough call. I usually leave that in Matt's hands because um, it was always like twisting his arm to do it. We just have a lot going on these days, but I think I want to do one pretty soon here and like actually eat during it <clears throat> since Murder, She Ate evolved with eating dinner and talking about crime. Um. Okay, 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 okay. Let us see. After having ramen today, I'm just like, when can I get ramen again? Oh, Team Louie, if you're still here, you're going to have to let me know the place again. Um, they sell a Keo Asian cauliflower rice at Costco. Really good. Mmm. I have to go back to Costco. You know what has... Okay, so this is not going to be relevant for most people, but the diapers at Costco, those are just so great and so budget-friendly. And so I got a huge box of those, and I love their diapers. Um, our Costco does not carry the herbed Tyson chicken tenders anymore, and that is, like, my favorite thing ever. And so I'm super bummed about that. They Costco goes in and out, and they, like, discon discontinue a lot of stuff. They don't have any more, like... Of the cheeses they used to carry, and they used to carry a lot of raw ones. Their rotisserie chicken is dry. It's so big and dry. 
Oh, we did meatballs last night? No, two nights ago. Oh, my God. Just meatballs in the... We, I seared the meatballs, poured um, like a, a low-carb marinara sauce over them, and then we popped them in the oven for like 20. And that, that was dinner. It was so good. Theo scarfed it down too. I feel like that's a good, easy go-to, just like meatballs. Who doesn't love meatballs? Hey, Meg, I'm watching from the Cebu, Philippines. Were you here last week? Because I've read that one. Hi. Ramen, Hiraku, and Marietta. Oh, thank you, Sheila. You also know. I'm going to I'm gonna write that down in my to-do list. Maybe if um, Theo is feeling, I mean, not Theo, if Matt's feeling frisky, we'll get some Hiraku ramen. Uh, what's Matt up to this evening? He is evening. He is upstairs with Theo, so they just like play until I'm done here. But he's listening, so if you have any questions for Matt, you can definitely answer, ask them, and he will answer in the chat, or I can probably answer because I know him more than he knows himself. Um, Oh, chicken chicken pizza crust. My husband doesn't want to give up his pizza. We usually do a cauliflower one, but just found out he has a good intolerance to it. Yeah, cauliflower crust is not my favorite. Um, chicken crust, you got to try. Super good. Fathead is a decent option if you're doing it once in a while. And then even, oh, Blaze. Oh, my goodness. I'm remembering all these things. You guys are giving me the best ideas. So speaking of eating out... I've been wanting to do like a fun Blaze pizza night. So Blaze is a chain. I don't know if it's everywhere in the country, but it's here. And they have a keto pizza. We tried once and we did a video. And I'll be honest. I mean, if you look at the video, I was honest. I didn't really like it, but I feel like I want to give it another try. Maybe do better toppings. So I'm just going to write that in here so I can remember. Even if we don't do it like this week. We can do it on the weekend or we can do it, you know, next week or something. What do you guys think of chaffles? I don't, I think they're so overrated. Like I'm not into chaffles at all. We do have a video on it and they're tasty, but like I would just never go out of my way to eat, make them. If I was going to do waffles, I would want sweet waffles. I want protein waffles for sure. Uh, does your sister want a mixed baby now? I don't know if you're talking to me, Travis, because I do not have a sister. Unless you're talking to Matt. How's the house that you guys bought? Max fi Matt's fixing up. Haven't heard. And Matt said it's currently rented, which it is. And it's going good. Lots of work, though. But worth it because, I don't know, it's fun to, like, say that we've done something like that and then seeing how it was and then um when we bought it and seeing what it looks like now it's cool i mean it's not a total flip it wasn't like a huge renovation it was pretty uh, could you say like turnkey mat i don't know but it was it's it's fun chaffles not worth them i find them so oily see i agree with all of that i loved matt's fathead pizza vid yeah that's a good video and it's a good pizza <laughs> Do you know if the pizza crust at Boston's Pizza has any flour fillers? Boston's Pizza. Keto crust. I'm just going to type that. This January, they rolled out Fathead Pizza. I don't know. Is Boston's, is that a chain or is that just in one place? I feel like it's not a chain. And let's see. I'm sure it would say, or if it doesn't say, we just wouldn't know. Call Collie Power Crust? It doesn't say if there's a fat head. You know what I would do? I would probably just call them and ask them. Because, yeah, I would just, I would definitely just call them and ask them what's in their fat head crust. I'm sure they'll tell you. Um, those chicken tenders are the best. They're, they also sell them at BJ's. Do they? Oh, my God. I have to go to BJ's. Guys, I need the Tyson chicken strips, the herbed ones. The buffalo ones are pretty spicy. The blackened ones are spicy and not as tasty. The herbed ones are bomb. 
I love that you guys are personal, personable and helpful with different recipes that you come up with. Thank you. That's what we try to be. It's easy to um, be fake these days on social media or like present something that's not real and get away with it. But it's hard to be like, I don't know, like fake when you're doing a live stream like this. Like you're getting who I am. I'm like a rambler. Matt's more like good at speaking. <laughs> I'm still looking at these all these delicious tasty foods. Okay, I think we have what we want. Okay, I think we're good. I'm going to answer some questions. Matt, if you're listening and um, there's anything I should share or talk about, let me know. Do you know if any other stores sell Epic Bars besides Whole Foods? I have. Have I seen them anywhere? I don't think I've seen them anywhere else, If I'm to be honest. Um, I don't even think I've seen them at Sprouts. But you can get them on Amazon for sure. You can get them on like Thrive Market if you're a member of that. We are and I get them there. Hmm... Let me see here. Someone said Bailey Fresh Market and Publix has the Epic Bar. So maybe it just depends on the location. I haven't seen the Epic Bars at Publix. Oh, I've seen the Epic Bars at Target. They sell them in like a box of four. Target for sure. Joseph said we balance each other out very well. Thank you, Joseph. I appreciate that. I think that's the goal, right? That's, you know, that's what you hope for when you are looking for your partnership long term some sort of balance do you guys have a product review coming soon um i don't know what what was our last one i guess i can look that up for you guys here connect i wonder if the most recent one will come up is this the most recent one the one month one month ago I think one should be coming up soon. We filmed one pretty recently. Oh, I'm not sharing my screen. So I just typed in Keto Connect Mail Time segment. I think it's this one is the most recent one. What's going oh, on? Don't. No, that's not. That's definitely not. And then Matt said we're going to wait until the 30 out under 20 for the product review and we have one recorded. Okay. So, yeah, I guess that's more fair because most of us aren't doing, like, you know, a lot of snacks. Um, I have made a few of your recipes. They've all been great. Thanks for making them fail safe. You're welcome. If we can't make them, we would not share them. Okay, I see a glass of water over there that could have been sitting there for a week. Because I'm in Matt's office and he leaves stuff down here for so long. But I'm so, like, parched. Should I drink it? I think I'm going to drink it. I, I have no choice. I'm so parched. There's this very little bit. Seems so. Seems okay. Oh, Matt said don't drink it. It's been there for a while. I already took a big sip and it felt good. I'm going to drink it. Okay, I needed that. Oh, I'm back to life, guys. I couldn't last longer if I didn't drink that really old gross water. Uh, Mega, have you tried Benton's Keto Chocolate Chip Cookies at Aldi? Zero net carbs. No. Okay. I got to start writing this stuff down. So I'm going to pull up... So I have Hikaru Ramen, Blaze Pizza, can't be forgetting this, Benton's Cookies at Aldi. I can go get all this stuff this week, but I guess we can't like fully enjoy all this stuff because we're still in the challenge. Keep it in mind though. Um, craving Asian here more Asian dishes please are you saying like for my meal prep or for us to make we can definitely make more I love Asian food 
but like it's so easy to just do a quick asian stir fry swap in the meats swap in swap in and out veggies and just keep like the base simple so you got coconut aminos you can do fresh ginger and garlic i feel like that really enhances it um sesame oil drizzle at the end any sort of like spicy sriracha chili garlic paste or sauce i mean that's a nice base right there rice wine vinegar <laughs> Lorianne said those cookies are so good okay i gotta try them you should keep a mini fridge of water down here we do have a mini fridge but matt does not keep it stocked so he has like snacks in a mini fridge down here. You can see over there. But I have to stock it. And I have not um, been keeping up with his drinks. So I feel bad. That's my fault. I do take some pride in being the woman of the house, in running the household, in, you know, that is my responsibility. Theo's in a bath. Otherwise, he'd bring water. That's sweet. And I I'm, I'm feel so grateful that you are doing the bath right now. Um, anyone find that keto helps with hormone imbalance? I recently went off birth control and I'm excited to get back into keto off birth control since I've always done it on birth control. Lauren. So when I got off birth control back before I had Theo, so in 2018, September, or no, in, yeah, September, and then I got pregnant in November. So it was pretty quick, but I noticed that getting off the birth control, I was a totally different person. I was on birth control for 10 years straight and it really stunted my personality and like who like just like my mood and everything. Like I was so just like I didn't have like a up and a low. I was just like so even keel all the time. And when I got off my birth control, I felt so good. I was actually like feeling emotions again and so happy. And I didn't realize how much it had like brought me down. So I'm very excited for you. I think you'll probably notice a difference. Maybe some bad things, but like m majority good. I, I don't think we need we should be on birth control that long. It's definitely not very natural to like um suppress our hormone production in in a way in like that way for so long and we do it through our um like most fertile years which is a shame but i think that's just the generation now right we're waiting longer and longer we're pushing off kids we're pushing off marriage um what re website were you on with the recipes the website is our website it is keto connect dot net desktop share right here and this is the meal plan i was showing before but this is our website post new recipe weekly and it always pops up here these are our fan faves bread of course oh the peanut butter cookies are a fan fa the meatloaf no okay this just this one i thought all of these were meat fan faves or are these fan faves matt the meatloaf meatloaf is good this is a good recipe. So these are our fan faves. Chicken crust pizza, the best cinnamon rolls. I made like 17 batches of these cinnamon rolls over the holiday season. And Matt ate every single one. He is savage when it comes to those cinnamon rolls. Um, I love your shopping vids. Be excited to see your different store options or new things that you find. I love our shopping videos too, but like, and there's so many new products out there in Sprouts, in Whole Food, in all the grocery stores, Costco. But um, I'll be honest, Matt doesn't want to do videos like with the mask. It's just not like a good look. But then we don't want to be like ripping our mask off constantly and like talking into the camera and like, it's just a lot of action. So he wants to wait. But like at this rate, I don't know how long we're going to have to wait. So... Um, we'll see, but I really want to do a new grocery haul soon. There's so much out there. I'm so excited and I do most of the grocery shopping. So I see everything and I get excited since you are doing fast food videos. You should try to find the best keto pizza crust joints, which I'm not sure if there are any there are. So there's blaze, which I mentioned Johnny's pizzeria. I think that's a chain, but I recently, not recently, but I found out from a friend who's also keto that, um, their keto crust is actually pretty high carb. So if you eat their crust, just a heads up, 
but yeah, there's, um, there's a couple pizza places that do just like a bowl so you can get, um, like, you know, the cheese and the meat and the veggies in like a bowl, like a tin bowl instead of just getting the pizza. Okay. I'm convinced I have the day off tomorrow. I'm making the cinnamon rolls. You will not be disappointed. I just looked up the Boston pizza one and the cauliflower crust is like a hundred grams of carbs. Yeah. A lot of, um, pizza joints are doing that now. They're like saying it's cauliflower crust, but then it's also filled with like rice flour and, you know, just flour, but they're, they're, um, showcasing the cauliflower aspect. A lot of mayos do that too. They'll say olive oil, olive oil based mayo, but the first ingredient is still soybean oil or canola oil or whatever. Papa Murphy's has pizza bowls. Cool. I'm going to make the peanut butter cookies. Those are bomb. So we store, we actually have a bag still. I haven't been eating them because we're doing the challenge, but we have a bag of the peanut butter cookies that we made in the freezer and they're delicious right out of the freezer. So if you want to store them for longer, you can pop them in the freezer. And that's most of our cookies. Uh, what was the page on Pinterest? Sorry, spelling that you were looking at, please. The page on Pinterest. Are you talking about my Pinterest board? So, oh, I just typed in keto dinners and then I'll browse and I'll add them to my board. And my board is, hmm, where are you board? Mega's meal planning board. That's what it's called. I cannot see it. Okay, but it's called Mega's Meal Planning Board on Pinterest, and it's going to be on our Keto Connect Pinterest page, so you should be able to find that pretty easily. You don't think you could have one of the cookies and still be under 20? Surely I could, but when I plan out, like by the time my day rolls around to the end, and I have my macros left or like my carbs left, I want to always dedicate them to berries and nut butter. Like one, you know, one or two peanut butter cookies doesn't really hit the spot for me the way blackberries and almond butter does. But yeah, I'm sure, you know, one of these days I could do it. I actually had forgotten about them, but thank you for the reminder. I'll do that. Um, Okay, I'm still so thirsty. Can you guys hear, like, the parchness? I'm just looking for other water cups he has. He has none. Mm. FYI, Noodles brand. Noodles brand, like N-O-O-O-D-L-S. Shirataki is the best. Already cooked, just rinse and use in dishes. We've actually tried those, I think, maybe. Or we've tried the noodles, like n e w. D-L-E-S. Yeah, shirataki is not bad. It's just nothing compared to pasta. Um, I like palmini because they're hearty -er and more filling, in my opinion, because, like, it's an actual vegetable. Palm is, heart of palm is vegetable, right? Um, do you consider t tomatoes a keto food? Yeah, you can definitely eat tomatoes on keto. Like I said, we made marinara and meatballs a couple nights ago. We put um, tomato sauce in our chicken curry. We make in the Instant Pot almost weekly. <laughs> Quick intermission. Go get some water. We will wait. I know you guys would wait, but I just cannot do that. Like if Matt was here, I would let him jump in. If Theo was here, I would let Theo jump in and slam on the keyboard. Um, you inspired me to make my own meal prep board. That's amazing, Marie. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, you don't have to follow me. You don't have to You only look at food blogs. Make your own meal prep board on Pinterest. It's like, you know, you know, every couple days, if you're browsing Instagram, instead browse Pinterest, get some ideas, you know, just pin them all to your board. And then you'll always have something to turn to as far as meals go. And you won't feel like you're just left hanging. I do love Pinterest. Oh, it's just for mama. Thank you. He doesn't want to leave now. Oh, can you see him? Oh, someone's all fresh and clean. Is Matt, are you like naked? I have underwear on. He just has underwear on, so he's not going to come. Thank you. <sighs> Guys. Woo. 
I've been loving hamburger bowls like Five Guys does them. Yeah, so Five Guys, we've had, I've had only twice. Matt's had once. First time we tried together, it wasn't good at all. So we were like over it. The second time I tried when I met my doula and I was pregnant with Theo and I loved it. They even do the lettuce wrap really well. But I see a lot of people get the burger bowls. You know what? I'm going to add that to my list. Robbie, you just made me want to expand this list. So we have a lot of takeout here. So I'm going to put five guys burger bowls. Because when I see people get those, those look bomb. And I know Theo would get a just love eating something like that. Okay. Let's go back. Hey, Theo. Yay. What challenge are you doing? Less than 20 total carb challenge? Yeah, uh, the 30 under 20. So 30 days under 20 net carbs. We are on day 14. Um, hopefully everyone's going strong. Or if you're not even doing the challenge, hopefully you're just having a great start to your year and you're, you know, so you've set maybe some goals and you're crushing them. I love berries too, but they're so expensive. I spent an arm and a leg today at Whole Foods for them. Worth it though. I know it's such a shame because um, when they're out of season, one, they're so expensive, like absurdly expensive. Matt loses his mind every time he sees the price, but then he also sees me grab it and he's, you know, he doesn't know what to do because he doesn't want me to buy them. I know that, but I don't know. I just berries are like the one thing that I loved so much that I think I would just spend whatever I had to. But okay, so the one they're expensive too, they don't taste as good. Like the strawberries aren't as juicy or red or flavorful. They're like harder and like not as sweet. And you know, the blueberries aren't as sweet. The blackberries go bad quickly. And it's just such a shame because um, you're spending so much more money to get worse berries. But in Georgia, strawberry season is in April, so that's very soon. And I want to go strawberry picking this year. Um, I love your chicken pad thai recipe with cognac noodles. Yeah, that one's a really, really old one. It's super good, though. Let me pull that up. Do we still have it on our site? Keto Connect. Oh, let me share my screen. Keto Connect pad thai. There it is. I remember when I made this recipe, we were living in Philly. We had just started the food blog. Is there a date on this? Oh, brings back terrible memories. Just kidding. Not terrible. But it was a very trying time for me and Matt. So January 6, 2017. That was six months after we started. This is a really good recipe, though, guys. And this right here is a really good base right here, this sauce, for any Asian dish. So if you want to do like beef and broccoli, use this sauce. If you want to do like a chicken stir fry, use this sauce. Um, really anything. It's just a great Asian sauce. I would just increase the aminos. I'd increase um, the chili garlic sauce, you know. Okay. <sighs> Can you add allulose to chronometer? Um, are you saying like, can we personally add it or are you asking if it's in chronometer? I don't, I mean, we wouldn't, no, I don't know why I'm pulling up chronometer. We wouldn't add allulose anyway, because, um, because we wouldn't track that. Ashley says it's a staple for us. Woo. You should post what you get on at Whole Foods on Insta stories. That's a good idea. I feel like I should share more because I go grocery shopping a lot and I should always share that. But I feel like I'd also be just ashamed of how much I spend unnecessarily. But yeah, okay, fine. I'm going to Whole Foods tomorrow. I will do like a screenshot of stuff or like a picture of stuff. Are you saying like video? I'll definitely take a picture for you guys. Strawberries are the most over, overrated food of all. See, I that's like a, that's so false for me. Strawberries are my favorite right now. I'm obsessed with them. And so is Theo. We love sharing a bowl of strawberries, and that's also a part of it. Um, I don't know. I love strawberries. 
What do you mean? Well, how are they overrated? I mean, when they're out of season, they're overrated, I guess. Um, Shake Shack makes good lettuce wrap burgers. They do. And their burgers are pretty good. They're just, like, always, like, thin and crispy because they like, they, like, smash them down. I think I prefer, like, a thick, juicy one. Um, strawberries are my go-to. Hell yeah, those are my go-to. My wife and I started our keto journey because of you guys. We have a 14-month-old aw, who loves watching Theo in the videos. Y'all are keto couple goals. Love y'all. My wife typed that last part. That's sweet, Jonathan. Thank you. Oh, 14-month-old. That's so cute and such a great age. It's such a fun time, isn't it? But um, I'm glad you guys are doing it together. It makes it so much easier to have a good partner on hand. Um, grocery hauls are dope that's like 60% of Flav City I would say Flav but I think it's Flav but it just looks like Flav City videos and I constantly watch them yeah I've never seen any of his videos he seems like a good dude though he's reached out to do collabs before but I think when he reached out I was like super pregnant and so was his wife but we just were not down to travel to Chicago at the time my CVS and Sprouts is at bars. Oh, yeah, CVS. I've definitely seen them at CVS and Walgreens, the um, Epic Bars. Can you show vegetarian keto meals? So literally every meal we have, you can just take out the meat. Um, so I don't know. Let's go to our site, for example. We also have a, um, a free five-day meal prep that is a vegetarian meal prep we made a while ago. So let me do a desktop share. So even the egg roll in a bowl, like, just leave out the meat. You can, like, add broccoli for more hardiness. You can add some uh, palmini noodles. Uh, let's go to recipes by course. Main dishes. I feel like all these recipes, you can easily swap in, swap out things and make them vegetarian or make them dairy free or make them nut free. Um, lasagna, just take out the meat. I'm trying to think. Pork rind nachos, just don't, yeah, don't, don't do meat. I feel like this is pointless. I don't know why I'm talking about this. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like it's really easy to do vegetarian meals. I would do a lot of eggs personally, probably good quality dairy. Um, do you do fish? You could do like, I would do a lot of salmon. Um, when you post on chronometer, do you write down every ingredient or just the recipe? When we post on, are you talking about for the meal plans or when we track? Either way, we do every ingredient. That's what you're going to want, going to want to do. So if you want to track an entire meal and you want to do like one serving of it, you can put all the ingredients in and then divide and then you like divide by how many servings and you have the macros or you could just, you know, do like the serving ingredients and you'll get the macros. Sola bread is decent. I think we tried the sola bread recently. I don't know if it's in a video that's out yet, but there was something about it that we didn't like. Maybe it used like soy bean oil or soy flour or something, but they all, they're all kind of like sketchy like that. I think my favorite bread, uh, um, to buy that's ready-made is probably online. It's, low carb bread company and lc foods l low carb lc foods their bagels are just bomb they're so good um greetings from munich germany hello okay i'm winding down here guys how are you guys doing i don't get the hype on chaffles yeah me neither I guess it's just something fun and new. Please use metric too. So all of our recipes, you can do that. So let's click on a recipe. And if you scroll down right here, so you, you see the, you see the option to click metric and it'll change, ev change everything to metric. So 80 grams of white wine, 74.5 grams of cherry tomatoes, 6 grams of basil, 
and then you can change it back to US. So you can do that with all of our recipes. Do you have a favorite store brand recipe or easy homemade? Yeah, so we have very easy homemade ones. So I'm just gonna type in ice cream into our search bar. I didn't spell that right. Oh my goodness, I am not sharing my screen. You guys gotta tell me this stuff. Okay, I gotta go back. So I'm gonna show you again. So right here, you can click metric and it'll give you the metric ingredients. You can go back to US customary. So you can do that with all of our recipes. And now I'm gonna show you the ice cream recipe. So we have a mason jar ice cream recipe, which is super, super easy and good. And then we also have a low carb gelato, which is also super good and you use the stove top, I believe. But then some of our favorite store-bought bars and ice creams are so delicious. The coconut milk one, no sugar added. The butter pecan, that's one of my favorites. And then Enlightened has really good bars. And So Delicious has really good bars, ice creams. And then Keto Pint has really, they sell bars at Costco. I think those are the best ice cream bars. Um, been on keto for three years, went from 677 to 260. Wow. Stephanie, that's phenomenal. Congrats. Um, Driscoll's makes the sweetest variety of berries. They sell at Whole Foods, but they're not organic. They're really sweet, though. Okay. I'll have to check that out. Okay. Seems like everyone's winding down here. This was super fun, guys. Last week was a bit short, but I think I made up with this week because I was able to stay hydrated. So we have our meal plan for this week and a couple other things. So as far as eating out goes, if maybe we'll put like everything in a hat and we'll pick out of the hat and decide what we're going to do if Matt's up for that. So the ramen place. So Hiraku ramen. And again, if you want to get ramen, we just get no noodles. Um, then you can add an extra egg. You can add extra veggies. Super good. The blaze pizza, five guys, burger bowls. Those are our, or Chipotle. Those are our four takeout options. Then we have the Instant Pot short ribs, egg roll in a bowl, Instant Pot chicken curry, chicken crust pizza. And those are like our four, oh, or lamb chops or salmon. So we have five potential make it homes. So we have four potential eat outs. So it'll be a fun, interesting week. Um, thoughts on the Chipotle cauliflower rice? We have a video coming soon, but I mentioned already. Spoiler alert, not my fave. I would just, and maybe it's where, I, th I think the majority or the consensus from what I've seen online is that people don't love it. You still drink Zip Fizz, especially during the challenge? I have not been drinking Zip Fizz. Matt hasn't been either. Matt's been doing mostly just coffee. I think he does like two coffees a day. I feel, if he probably feels more productive with that. Um, and then I do my coffee in the morning and that's it. But Zip Fizz is a really good alternative. It has some electrolytes in there, some potassium, I think some magnesium as well. It's tasty, but it is 200 milligrams of caffeine. So um, if I was going to drink it, it'd probably be like right in the morning. It wouldn't be in the afternoon because that's a lot of caffeine. Can you give us your keto bomb recipe? Like fat bomb recipe, we have a lot of fat bombs on our site. Just go to ketoconnect.net in the search bar, type in fat bomb, and you'll get all our fat bombs. Mm. I'm keto, I'm on keto, but I drink on weekends vodka and zero coke Fanta or what? So I need some tablets, question mark? Hmm, I don't know what that means. Are you talking about like ketone tablets? I would say no. I think drinking on the weekends is fine. Um, vodka with like a, a zero calorie drink is a decent go-to. It's a decent option. And um, yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, How is your progress? How are you feeling? What does your week look like when you're not, you know, eat, when you're eating keto? And then are you also like when you're drinking, are you doing high carb then too? Because you're just eating what you want. 
Um, do you ever make green juices? No, we do not. We don't make juices. Had the chip, had the chipotle cauliflower rice with ch chicken and guac. It was great. Yeah, I think we need to give it another chance. You'll see in the video we got a salad bowl with the cauliflower rice instead of just the cauliflower rice on its own. So, and I think it depends on where you get it and how they make it. Okay. I'm just getting lost in these comments again. This was really fun, though, guys. Thanks so much for joining me, and thanks for bearing with me as I was so parched. Um, and I will see you guys next week. So we're on day 14. Let me see. Oh, so this challenge isn't going to end July, J January 31st. It ends a little bit after. Um, but, yeah, so not next week. Let me Let me just look at my calendar real quick. Next week's not the last one, I don't think, right? So the 24th and then the 31st. Yeah. Okay, so we have two of these left. Yay. And maybe we'll keep them going. And maybe, like, Matt can do one once in a while. We can have Theo jump on and do some. He'll probably have a lot of great things to say. <laughs> um, okay. Bye. This was so fun. Have a wonderful week ahead. Don't forget, um, if you haven't joined and you want to join the Discord, you can join our free chats. You don't have to be a member of the Curve. You can just join in and chat. You can tag me and Matt when you want to ask questions, when you want to say anything, and we'll chime right back. I'm always on it. It's an app on my phone, so I'm usually chatting with people. I see that you um, said you sent me a DM in Discord, Team Louie. Thank you. I will look at that. Okay. But I'm interested in Theo's meal plan. I think we're all interested in Theo's meal plan. It'll probably, hmm, I wonder. I'll, I'll, I'll confer with him today. I mean, this week we'll talk and then I'll share what he uh, said.